Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to talk about for this episode of The Bullet Points is going to blow your mind. Do you guys happen to recall all that trouble around ghost guns, how Biden put his big stamp on? We're finally doing something about the personal made firearms. Ghost guns are now out of business. Remember that whole shenanigan debacle? Well, Turns out that it's a little bit different when it goes into court versus when it's being preached and sold on the executive branch level for executive action rules through the ATF. That is what we're going to talk about because a lawyer for the Department of Justice just undermined the entire ghost gun push. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. And like I said, it will be linked in the description box below. Now I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor for this week's videos, Excess Sites, and then we're going to dive in. I cannot wait to, see, to show you guys this and also hear what you think because this is going to blow your minds, like I said. Now, XS Sights is known for making the fastest sights in any light. For more than 25 years, the XS team has created some of the most innovative sights on the market today for pistols, rifles, and shotguns. Whether used for personal defense or hunting, these sights are designed and built to be the absolute best for their specific purpose. And XS Sights has also offered you a 10% coupon for being a viewer of this channel and for the rest of the week. Use code XSSITES10 in the link in the description box below for your discount. And thank you so much to XS Sites for making this possible and honestly giving you guys that discount option. All right, let's dive in because the lawsuits are flying and details are coming out, which are going to be incredible for you guys to hear. Texas company asked judge to block Biden ghost gun regulations. So one of the things that we said when we first introduced this, when Biden came out a year and a half ago, how do you define a ghost gun? What's going to be stopped? Is it going to be a 70% lower or an 80% lower? Is it going to be 90%? Are they going to outlaw hunks of metal? How are they going to do this? That was the big problem. And then they came out and said, well, we're going to get those PMFs and here's how we're going to do it. Well, the lawsuits start flying and it's amazing the details that start coming out from the De Department of Justice. Check this out. Galveston, Texas. A Texas firearms parts dealer asked a federal judge Tuesday to block a Biden administration rule targeting Ghost guns, it claims, will shutter its business because it will shut them down. They're an 80% dealer. For decades, these companies enjoyed a status quo of no government interference because under the Gun Control Act of 1968, the feds did not define firearm frames, also known as lower receivers and receiver blanks, as firearms subject to reg regulation. Keep that in mind. Lower receivers and receiver blanks. That's coming from this a quote, okay? That's going to come back in one second. Now, the plaintiff in this case is a company out of Texas that actually sells 80%. This is what the lawyer is saying here. Check this out. Because the, the judge says, well, can't he just get a license? This is the response. Quote, it's not just about a license, the attorney added. It's about the ability to build a firearm, a right that exists and has existed since the nation's founding. Right on point. But Lou's arguments were undercut by a disclaimer from Justice Department attorney Daniel Reese. Daniel Reese is the guy we're about to hear a quote from who's going to destroy the Biden gun rule. After Lou showed Brown a receiver, a receiver Division 80 cells for an AR-15 style rifle, the most popular firearm in America. Brown is the judge here. Okay, So we've got Lou, Brown, and Reese. Check this out. Here comes the dem demolition of the gun control rule. Check this out. Reese gave the judge a paper with illustrations taken from the ATF's final rule, outlining what it does and does not count or consider to be a receiver. To qualify as a regulated receiver, talking about under the ghost gun regulation rule, Reese explained the part must come with a jig or a template, typically a piece of plastic that snaps into place to guide the purchaser on where and how deep to drill the holes, drill bits and instructions making the receiver readily convertible within minutes to be a fully functioning firearm. Now, you guys will remember that extremely specific phrase, readily convertible, because that's what Biden, that's what the rule, that's what the DOJ, that's what the ATF, they were all going down that road. Readily convertible. Well, the DOJ lawyer just said, no, 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 they're perfectly fine to sell. You just can't sell them with a jig. Skirt. I thought they were the scourge of everywhere. I thought they were the whole problem was ghost guns were on the rise, the epidemic of gun violence. I thought ghost guns were the evil that is firearms. So it turns out that according to the ATF and the lawyer of the Department of Justice, you can now sell 80% all day long. It's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. As long as you don't sell a jig and some drill bits. Because I thought the problem was the 80%, not the jig and the drill bits. So if it was just the jig and the drill bits, why didn't you make a rule about the jig and the drill bits? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Let's keep going. 
Lou, who is the lawyer for Defense 80, this is the Texas company, Lou was flabbergasted. Quote, that's news to me, he said, to be honest. Same boat, that's news to me. Quote, for months we've been asking what rule do instructions and tools play in this? You can sell a receiver blank without tools and jigs. That's news to me. Had this handout been posted on ATF's website, that would have cleared up a lot of questions. So just to set this, like, to, to put this into a little clearer context, the ATF is getting sued because of the ghost gun rule that Biden signed in, or basically assigned into um, executive action, okay? This rule was meant to get rid of ghost guns completely, and creating these things that were readily convertible was the problem. So... In the defense of this lawsuit, of these of this um, rule, because the lawsuit states you can't do that, which it's correct, they are actually stating the position from the ATF to a judge in court is no, 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 no. It's just if you send a jig with drill bits and instructions, you can sell the item. You just can't sell the drill the drill bit and instructions. Do you understand how different that is than banning an entire class of personal made firearms versus banning instructions to create it? That's essentially what it just boiled down to in court where there is now a record. So further lawsuits, further injunctions are going to have to rely on this because it's part of the equation now. Thanks, Biden's DOJ. Let's keep going. Brown, again, the judge, asked if that doomed Division 80's injunction request. Quote, what if the product can still be sold? Is that fatal to a preliminary injunction? Or are you still saying you want an injunction? Translation, the judge literally goes, that seems like you can still sell it. Do we still need an injunction at all? Because there's no prohibition on you selling this. Going off of the ATF's handout that says you can sell it as long as you don't have a jig or a drill bit. Anybody else seeing it? Anybody else seeing the insanity that this is? Because the whole thing was, well, he really cracked down on ghost guns. No, he didn't. According to the own ATF and the Department of Justice own lawyers in court on record, they say, no, 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 it's not about the uh, 80% or the PMFs or the ghost guns. No, no, no. It's about the instructions for the ghost guns. Okay. But Lou said the revelation just proves Division 80's contention. The rule is unconstitutionally vague. Something else that we talked about on this channel. The vague nature of this rule is where it's going to get in trouble in court. I.e. trouble in court. He said it is so open-ended the public can't understand it. Quote, They want the rule to be as ambiguous as possible and they'll just give handouts on a case-by-case -case basis to meet their need, he griped, which was the whole point. They can't get in the specifics because you can't do specifics in this type of rule or executive action. You get too specific, you circumvent Congress, EPA versus West Virginia. If you're too vague, you can use it at your discretion however you want, except it's going to be a little bit harder now because you have a court record of a DOJ attorney saying, no, 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 you just can't sell jigs and drill bits. If you take those out, you're perfectly fine, which circumvents the entire point of the gun control executive action that Biden touted and liberals across the United States said, we finally did something about ghost guns. No, you didn't because you can still sell them. And that's what I've got for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments field below, and I will see you tomorrow tonight at the 9 p.m. segment. I'm Braden. See you later.